So here we'll look at starting a new type of document. Uh, so select File, New. And in the novice mode that we'll use at the college, we can select Assembly and OK. The assembly document will contain uh, more than one part, as, a, as an assembly would um, in any engineering environment. So you'll have a, a series of parts um, to insert to begin the assembly, and you'd need to browse um, from the property manager um, for your documents and pick the first one that you want to insert in this case the t-nut now you can place the part graphically or if you avoid the graphics area and go to the um, property manager you can select the green tick and inserting the file will um, fix it so avoid the graphics and use just go straight to the green tick for the first part and what SOLIDWORKS does it aligns the planes in the component into the part with the planes of the assembly file and you can see that by viewing them in the feature tree so if you browse again to the next component that you want to insert and this time don't um, um, don't use the green tick but place the file graphically you should find that if you click on it and drag it it will float uh, around it's not it's not fixed in place like the first um, component um, and it needs to be referenced to the first component and in SOLIDWORKS we call that mating so on the assembly tab select mate and you can select model features or as we are now selecting planes uh, and we're mating planes from one part to a plane in the other part or in this case the, the top level planes in the assembly and you should always think three mates per part will fully define the location for uh, for that part so just going through the feature tree there we're just looking for the planes that um, want to be referenced and in this case to fix the sort of vertical alignment of the part I'm going to select a plane from the stud and rather than a plane in the component or assembly they don't quite work out for me um, as the, the top plane doesn't work out we will pick um, a surface on the model on the geometry rather than a plane so we can remove the top plane reference and select a face so we've got um, the plane in the stud and the face on the nut but the alignment is wrong so we can reverse that the message is telling me some of the other mates need to be reversed um, when you finish with the mate tool we just tick to close it so the first component is fixed and cannot be moved we can left click and drag the second component is fully defined it cannot be moved there's a, there's a difference there between the two first component SOLIDWORKS added the references and in the feature tree now under the mate group we can see the mate that apply to the second component so inserting a component uh, browse uh, find the next part that we want to add and there's uh, the clamp body so mate and in this case we're going to select two cylinders and we're going to add 
concentric mate. Some of these mates are very familiar to the type of language used for sketch relations. Um, two faces, they can't be coincident, but we can change the default uh, or from the default to the parallel mate. And again, we can reverse the alignment if we want to. Or back again. So that's two mates. We now need to control the vertical uh, position. And we have another um, type of mate that we can add between um, two parallel faces. Uh, coincident the default, not really what we want. So we can set a distance mate. So we click on distance and we have the opportunity to input any distance. We can change that as we go along and we can change the direction or even the alignment but we can see uh, they do two different things. The alignment changes the um, attitude of the, the geometry and the flip dimension and controls the position, the distance. So insert, browse, find our uh, next component, place it graphically, it's just in space and then we add mates to control. So two cylinders, concentric, two flat faces, coincident, they get listed in the, the mates, those are the mates that have been added this time, and if we want to find um, the previously added mates, we can do in the feature tree. So that distance mate we can change that to 100 mil and the stud looks uh, in a better position all the way through the nut. So everything's editable and to, to finally or oh, fully define this nut we can switch the default from coincident to parallel flipping the dimension, uh, the, di the mate alignment if we want to and every component has um, three mates fully defined with the first component being fixed by not placing the component graphically but allowing SOLIDWORKS to find the alignment